Hey, Shalom Amaki, I'm out there. First and foremost, before I start, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this word. Why Shalom to all you brothers out there that's teaching this word in truth and sincerity. All right, back at another lesson. GMS Strive to be saved, coming in the spirit of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. All right, in the name of the Holy Spirit. All right, um, so as you brothers can see, I don't really have a title yet, but. It's just going to be uh, dealing with, um, you know, uh, afflictions for the better, you know, because, um, you know, me and the brothers was talking um, last night, uh, basically just dealing with how, how these afflictions, you know, are needed because they, they make you better, man. You know, um, like it says in uh, what's that acts, um, what Lord will and I get, you know, uh, much tribulation, we shall enter into the kingdom of Yahweh by Shem Shai, you know. So, you know, with that being said, um, you know, we, we take the afflictions with joy because we know that it's only making us better. And it's uh, what what's needed. All right. In order to um, get to the kingdom, man, you know, Lord willing will be of that number. So I just want to start with the uh, second Corinthians, the first chapter, and, you know, uh, may may this uh, be edifying and may the spirit of Yah Bashim al Shai guide me to edifying lesson. All right. So um, second Corinthians, chapter two, verse one, it says, Paul, an apostle of Yahweh Shai by the will of the Most High and Timothy, our brother unto the church of the Most High, which is at Corinth with all the saints which are in. All, uh, which are in all uh, Achaia or Achaia, all right? So, you know, as you buzz know, uh, Paul, all right, uh, writ letters to uh, to the certain churches out there, to the saints, okay? All right? And this particular church was in uh, Corinth, Greece, to the brothers out there, you know? Verse 2, it says, uh, Grace be to you and peace from, our, from, peace from Yahweh our Father and from the Lord Yahweh Shai. Blessed be Yahweh, the, even the father of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, the father of mercies and the power of all comfort. Right. Because these these scriptures, that's what they do, man. When we're going through our afflictions and we're going through whatever obstacles that the Lord put in front of us. All right. The, the, we run straight to the scriptures, man, because that's that's what comforts us, man. OK, the spirit of the Lord, that, which dwells in the book. OK, the Lord said he is a power of all comfort, man. All right. So we don't. We don't need uh, like how these people in the world, how they need uh, to stay on drugs, stay high all the time. They need to fucking drink. OK, well, don't get me wrong, brothers. You know, uh, we, we drink, you know, moderately. OK, we don't overdo it. But the, the true comfort comes from um, from from this book, man. OK, reading the scriptures, getting into them, man. You know, matter of fact, it's a uh, it's a precept in. Um, Maccabees. Let me just grab that real quick. I believe it's in Maccabees. To comfort us. Yeah, this is uh first Maccabees chapter twelve, verse nine. It says, Therefore we also, albeit we need none of these things. That we have the holy books of scripture in our hands to comfort us. All right. So we 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 really need none of these none of these things in the world, man. Okay. Okay. All all we need is is the spirit of Yahweh Shema Shai and the brotherhood, man. You know? This is what keeps us going. This is what comforts us. All right. So going back to um Second Corinthians one, uh blessed be Yahweh, even the father of our Lord Yahweh Shai. The father of mercies, all right, in the power of all comfort, all right, and we we look we we hope to receive that mercy from the Lord, man. Okay, verse four: Who comfort us? Who comfort if us in our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble, right? So the Lord will have you go through something, okay, to 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 have you strengthen your brother, okay. And you may be wondering, like, damn, why am I going through this, man? Like, you know, I ain't, I'm, I'm, I'm on the right path. I'm doing the right thing. I, I really like this shit. Just came out of nowhere, right? The Lord had you go through something just so that experience you could have that experience, okay? And and comfort another brother who may go through that later down the line. You know, 
it's 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 all type of angles that the Lord could that, you know hit you with, you know, but it's all for the betterment, you know. Cause now you you better cause you went through that, you know, and you got the experience. Okay, the Lord got you through that, so your faith is built. Okay? And the same thing for, for another brother who's going through it now. So now you go, hey bro, shit, man, this is how I did it, you know, and you know, counsel that brother in that way, okay? So uh, verse four again, who comforted us in all our tribulation that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh right? Because we're going to tell you, look, man, this, you know, I went through this and the Lord comforted me, you know, brother might give you a few scriptures here and there. You know, this is what, you know, got me through, bro. All right. So the, so the Lord, man, he, he definitely, it's a, it's a balance to everything, man, you know? Because like the scriptures say, what John the Baptist say about the Lord? He said, um, one that come after me is mightier than I. He shall baptize you with uh, um, water. In the, matter of fact, let's just get it real fast. I think it's um, John 3. Matter of fact, I think it's Matthew 3. Matthew chapter 3. Yeah, Matthew 3 and 11, it says, I indeed baptize you, this is John the Baptist speaking, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He, John the Baptist was talking about Yahweh Shai here. He shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire, right? The Holy Spirit, all right, which is the word, okay? And with fire, that's the trials and tribulations, man. Okay, your trials that you're gonna go through. Okay, <laughs> you said you're gonna be baptized with that, man. Okay, all for your all for your betterment, though. Okay, because you must believe, man. You know, if you're not if you're not going through nothing, then how how you gonna be made a better man? You know, how you gonna let that that discipline run its course? You know, because that's another thing the Lord do. The Lord put you put certain things on you so you could gain that discipline. That you need, that you didn't have in the world, man. You know, because this fucking world don't teach that. They don't teach disciplining yourself. You know what I mean? They don't teach uh to be moderate in every in everything you do, man. You know, this is something as uh, simple as eating. You know, really, you know, I say it like that because <laughs> shit, this world is ran on gluttony. You know what I'm saying? You gotta moderate your eating. You know, your drinking, your sex, everything, man. Okay, so the Lord gonna put that on you, so so the discipline can be gained. Okay, that's what you want. You know, and you also pray for it, man. You know. Um. So let's go back to Second Corinthians chapter one, verse six. Well, I think I was in four. Uh, Wait, this is 1 Corinthians, so lock it. 2 Corinthians 1 and uh, 4, 4. Who comforted us, who comforted us in all our tribulation that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. For as the sufferings of Yahweh Shai abound in us, so our consolation also aboundeth by Yahweh Shai. Okay, so let's let's read that in, in the NLT to get a little clear, a little clear, more understanding. It says, for the more we suffer for Yahweh Shai, the more the most high will, sh will shower us with his comfort through Yahweh Shai. You see, so the more you go through the things that you suffer. OK, no matter what it is, man, you know, brothers know shit. No matter what you go through, that that gives you know, the Lord more, um, what's the word, man? The more, more able, ableness, if that's a word, to, to comfort you through Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? It says, and whether we be afflicted, it is for your consolation. Right. So whether you be afflicted, it's for, it's for your, con let's look up this word consolation, because I believe that means like, um, like good or something something in that nature um, consolation 
It says the comfort received by a person after a loss or disappointment. A person or thing providing comfort to a person who has, has suffered. All right. And that's Yahweh Shai providing comfort to us for suffering for him. You know, it says we have to suffer for his namesake. You know, that's uh, Philippians 1 and 29. You know, so it says, um, and whether we be afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation, which is effectual in the enduring of the same sufferings, which we also suffer, or whether we be comforted, it is for your consolation and salvation. All right. So, so basically, man, it's, it's for your good, man. All right. This is this for, for your salvation. All right. So, man, we, hey, like the scripture say, these are light afflictions that we go through, man. You know, I'm going to read that same verse in the NLT. It says, even when we are weighed down with troubles, it is for your comfort and salvation. Okay? So, the so the troubles that we go through, remember, it's all going to be good in the latter, man. Okay? We really, we stacking up our spiritual bank account, like, you know? Because, hey, you best believe, when we even when we're not going through things, okay? But... Especially when we're going through things, you know, we, we're praying unto the Lord, man. Okay? Building up that spiritual uh, bank account and, you know, that relationship. Okay? Between you, and, you know, and Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. Okay? Our power. Even when we are weighed down with troubles, it is for your comfort and salvation. For when we ourselves are comforted, we will certainly comfort you. Then you can patiently endure the same things we suffer. You see? So, hey, man, you know, that's, hey, that's what this lesson is, 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 you know, Lord willing to make comfort a brother out there, whoever, whoever, man, whoever needs to hear this, man, you know, uh, I'm, I'm definitely being comforted because, hey, that, that's what the scriptures do, okay, they comfort those who are, you know, are in trouble, who, who are a part of this thing, this faith, man, okay, then you can patiently endure the same things we suffer, man, okay, because this thing is all about enduring until the end, okay? But yeah, um, and I hope you were steadfast knowing as ye are partakers of the sufferings. Yeah, man. Verse 7 is dope too. And it says, and our hope of you, this is back in the KJV, and our hope of you is steadfast, right? Knowing that as ye are partakers of the sufferings, so shall you be also of the consolation right so so much as you going through okay as much as your troubles all right your afflictions is hitting you the much more how about shimmy is going to comfort you in the latter man okay because most of the time when the lord is putting something on you it's for a lesson you know every time i go through something i look for the lesson out of it like damn what could i get out of this okay to, to you know because it had to be a lesson in there because that's how the lord works you know, the Lord will put something on you that you don't even see about yourself, you know, until he put it on you like, oh, OK, you know, I need to stop doing this. <laughs> you know, y'all, you know, brothers can fill in the banks, man, blanks, man. You know, I'm pretty sure, you know, brothers know exactly what I'm talking about. But, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it on that, man. You know. Um, so uh, let's end it out with a. Uh, Acts 14 and 22. You know, just a you know quick lesson, man. You know, Jake on his lunch break. But um, this is what it is right here, man. Acts 14 and 22, it says, Confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. All right? And that's what we do, man. Confirming the souls of, of all the brothers out there, man. All the students and followers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? And then exhorting them, okay, to continue in the faith, right? Because this, you know, it's not over yet, man. Okay, it's still more work to be done. Okay, this place still has to be destroyed. It still has to run its course until it's destroyed. And we don't have much time. You know, we see how Esau, he's about to get ready to blow up this dollar. Okay, he's uh, get, passing out these stimulus checks like goddamn Skittles, you know. That shit gonna blow up the dollar, man. And once that go, hey, it's gonna be a domino effect, man. Okay, here comes the chip. All right, then you got then you got World War Three still brewing up, man. 
All right. So things are going to happen fast, you know, but we just got to keep on, keep on keeping on, man. Continue in this faith and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of Yahweh by Shimei Awashai. Okay. And you best believe the Lord is going to provide that comfort for every affliction, man. You know, Proverbs 11, uh, 11 and 1, you know, a false balance is abomination. So the Lord is going to balance everything out, man. You know? So, yeah, you know, brothers, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying, you know, just a quick hit, you know, um, uh, affliction for the better, you know, Lord willing, that's what I title it, you know. But, yeah, uh, I want to close it out by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakaqwadash. All right, double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone who taught me this word. Wa'ashalawam to all you brothers out there that's teaching this word in truth and sincerity. Stay up, brothers. Shalom.